Hey guys, it's Nicola. So May 9th through the 13th, I will be doing um, opening readings up for that week only. Um, if you guys are interested in getting a reading, you can email me at intimatewisdomtarot at gmail.com. The link will be in the description. Also, it'll be at the bottom of the screen here somewhere. So if you guys are interested in getting a reading, I'll be doing readings for the next week only. Um, I'm only offering it from May 9th to the 13th. Um, okay, so let's get started with the readings. Hey Water Signs, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. We're going to pull one card for each of you guys before we get started with the reading. This will be your theme and your guidance for the month of May 2022. Okay, this is for my Water Signs. What messages do we have for Cancer? Okay. We got Angel of a New Life. So Cancer, you could have some new things stirring in your life. You could be emerging from the mud, from the darkness. Um, it says an exciting new chapter in your life is about to unfold. Okay. See what messages we have for Pisces. We have Angel of Relaxation. It says let go of desired outcomes and you will get what you want. And um, definitely need to relax. Um, like just chill. Okay. What messages do we have? For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, damn, Scorpio. Alright, the first thing we have is Goddess of Awakening. It says there this is a wondrous time of exploration, romance, and creativity. We have Goddess of the Earth. It says an idea connected to imagination, creativity, and nature is coming your way. Okay. We have Goddess of Compassion. It says self-criticism is diminishing your sense of self-worth. Okay. And we have Angel of Clearing. It says your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. Y'all got a lot going on, Pisces. Alright, so let's get started. What messages do we have from our water signs for those that resonate? Oh, for, ooh, okay, water signs for those that resonate with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for the water signs? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is for May 2022. What messages and guidance do we have? For my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is and Jupiter for May 2022. Okay. Alright. So we have Three of Cups, Queen of Pentacles in Reverse, and Sun card here. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, it could be clear that you did not make a good decision. The Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles in Reverse is not a good decision. So for some of you guys, and Sun card is about clarity, you could see um, clearly that some of you guys may have not made a good decision in regards to some sort of partnership, friendship, third party situation. Um, you could realize that maybe something is not as stable as you thought. Okay. So let's see here. We have, yep, Five of Cups. There's some regret. Some of you guys could have lost a good partner because Queen of Pentacles in Reverse is no longer a good partner. Moon card here out of fear. Full, full energy. There could be a new beginning here. Ace of Wands, most definitely a new beginning here. Um, but it could take a long time to get started because there's a decision that needs to be made and someone feels as though they're losing. Check out that fire sign, fire sign reading as well because that was in the fire sign reading okay um hmm. <laughs> so I definitely feel like for some of you guys you did not make a good decision it is becoming very clear I definitely feel like there's gonna be some communication some of you guys could be in a space of energetically or just literally moving forward nine ones overcoming a situation nine minus six three one something that you had a lot of patience with that you were hoping would come into alignment um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, full energy in, in the middle of the read, you definitely got a new beginning here. It's clear that you have a new beginning here. For some of you guys, there could be some fear of this new beginning because it requires you to take some sort of action, something that you have not taken previously, something that you may have been dragging your feet about. Um, this is about taking an action to um, make a decision about a lover. Now, if you're in the midst of making a decision about a lover, you may be making a wrong decision right now. Eight cups is, is emotional withdrawal. So some of you guys could be withdrawing away from a situation. Withdrawing maybe away from a third party. Someone that was a secret. Um, there could be some secrets that are coming out. 
or, or some secrets that were hidden. And in order for this new beginning to take off, maybe you got to reveal those secrets and that's what's creating this conflict. Um, someone could be making a decision to lose out on something. Um, making a decision to not move forward energetically with the situation because they feel as though it's a lost cause. Okay? So let's see here. Why is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? We got death here. So some of you guys, that's an end to a situation. Four of Pentacles. Someone's no longer holding on. So someone clearly made an unwise decision because someone has chosen to no longer hold on to the situation. Five Cups here. I just five Cups here. We have the Four of Swords and the Ace of Wands. This is definitely almost the same reading as the Fireside reading. Like, almost the same fucking reading. So with the Four of Swords, these are like the same cards. Um, really, it's, this one came out, this one came out. This one came out. And this one. So it's like, and all these came out. So it's, it's different cards, but this is literally the same message. Um, there is a new opportunity here. Um, some of you guys have been waiting a long time for a new opportunity. Maybe even a new lover here. Someone could be coming in with their uh, offer. Could be a rod. Um, someone that you may have resisted previously, but now you're letting your defenses down. There's some lies here. Someone regrets lying. Someone regrets being inside their head about a situation. I feel like there's a third party here that has ended because someone is no longer investing. Someone has made the decision to not invest anymore. So whether if you're not dealing with the third party, you could be dealing with someone else that has a third party that is clearly no longer investing. And that could be bringing you to, um, a space where you're able to start something new. The problem is six ones in reverse. If you start something new here, it's a loss. Six ones is not moving forward. There's no victory there. I definitely feel like there's an opportunity, but the opportunity may lead to a losing situation. All right, so why is this moon card here? Five of wands. See, the problem is, I feel like someone's moving forward with some sort of third-party situation. Five ones here because they're conflicted within their own, within themselves, conflicted by their own secrets. There's definitely some fucking secrets here. Someone's conflicted. There could be fighting um, over what's hidden, okay? Could be fighting internally. Two of cups here. This is about a relationship. Why is the six of wands in reverse? Emperor here. So someone could be, someone could be very... On the defense here, someone could be very protective of their energy. Nine swords because of anxiety. So, for some of you guys, you could be also dealing with someone that is very protective over their energy. That is in the space of kind of not wanting to extend their energy out, not wanting to move forward. There's, yes, there's a new opportunity here. But it's going to take a long time for someone to make a decision because they feel like they've actually lost sun here. Three of cups, what made them happy? Someone is dealing with some regrets here. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? We got a Magician here with the Eight of Pentacles. So someone, there's a Severance here. Three Swords. This is a this is a breakup. This is a heart. This is a breakup. But I, I don't know if it shows physically as an actual breakup. It may just show like someone just deciding that they are done, um, no longer investing. Um, and eight of pentacles, I mean seven of pentacles in reverse is a lack of investment. There's no planting of seeds here. So although there's a new opportunity, and there's clearly a new opportunity, and the new opportunity may be because someone has no has is no longer investing because death here, there's an end to something, there's an end to an investment in some way, shape, or form. The magician here, it, it may be because someone is manifesting um something different in their life, or they're trying to manifest now for some of you guys, you could be dealing with someone. Say this is a third party that you're dealing with and it's clear that they're no longer investing. It's because whoever they were dealing with is no longer investing in them. And now there's this kind of fear of, of things changing, um, fear of truth being exposed. Someone feels like they're losing. Okay? So someone may, you may be dealing with someone that is no longer investing in a connection because they feel as though they've lost something. Um, Emperor here really trying to stay in control. I don't know if they're trying to stay in control of them or stay in control of, a, of, the, of another situation. But you could also be dealing with someone that is trying to manifest a breakup. Like someone is trying to leave or, or walk away from a situation but not 
just walk away. This is the walking away is a lack of investment. Like that someone could like ghost you, could just stop talking to you, or they could they could still talk to you, but just no longer invest their energy. May feel as though you know there's no longer a third party, but that may be why there's a lack of investment because there's no longer a third party. All right, so let's pull and let's see. This is for my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Is, okay. What messages do we have for Pisces? Okay. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Okay. All right. Let's pull from the power of love. What messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right, Cancer. What messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What messages do we have for Scorpio? Okay. What messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Ooh, Cancer. All them cards. Messages we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Pisces, you got two. And messages for Scorpio. Alright, so let's get started. Cancer, you're up first. Alright, so your ancestor message is radiant. So for some of you guys, you could be in a space of shining bright. Uh, summer solstice could be around the summer solstice. Or you could literally be shining like the sun. There could also be some clarity coming in for you guys. We got detachment. So some of you guys, you could be shining because you're detaching from a situation. It says you are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideas of love. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you guys, you're detaching from a situation. You're really expressing how you feel. So that for that sun card and detachment, for some of you guys, you're you may clearly realize you made a wrong decision. It says you're ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. Okay. We have discernment. Yes, yeah, some of you guys are starting to see things very clearly. It says you are developing the skills to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. Okay. We have full moon in cancer. It says a personal issue reaches resolution. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're really ending a situation. I don't know. Yeah, you're detached from a situation. You're starting to look at the bigger picture, which is great. You understand that you are good enough and you know that whatever this situation is, is something that you need to let go of. All right, cancer. Let's see what we have here for Pisces. We got stone people, vigilance. So for a lot of you guys, you've been on your toes, okay? Um, you've been standing strong, keeping stable. Um, you need to relax. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're putting in a lot. Elevation here, yes, most definitely. I feel like you're manifesting, or I'm sorry, you're making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're trying to manifest something um, more stable in your life. And luck is on your side. I definitely feel like... This is like a good thing that you're doing. Um, it's time for you to really show the world the real you, but you need to relax a little bit, okay? Some of you guys are being very rigid in this process. All right, Scorpio, we got focus. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, either you're in a space of really focusing on higher knowledge. You see all those amethysts back there. You're receiving clear messages or you're beginning to focus more, okay? We got individuality, so some of you guys could be focusing on yourself more. It says you leave your unique step of love on everything that you do, okay? And we have a time to give rather than take. So for a lot of you guys, you may be wanting to invest into other people and other situations. Definitely take that initiative. This is all I have. Until next time.